we are going to replace the keyboard in this computer this one has a backlit keyboard the customer wants a regular so we're going to install a regular keyboard in this unit I have to remove the keyboard bezel lift the keyboard remove all the screws from the keyboard plate The silver one. There is some clips inside. We had to lift the clips. Be careful to don't break because they built in into the system board. You don't want to break or damage this board. This one I have an extra one to disconnect because that's the backlit part of the keyboard. We're not going to use this, so we can just put the clip back. We're going to install a regular keyboard on this unit. Make sure to connect the ribbons on the right board. Two connections. Nice and secure. Put the plate back on. Just in case you misplace a screw or you lose one, you make sure to put in all the corners. It's okay if you're missing one on the top. It's not going to damage your unit. Now this is a little difference because it has four uh, little bumps, I guess, that you have to connect here so it's a little uh, more difficult to do than the regular keyboard you have to line up the four points make sure your ribbon is in place now you have to line up the four connections down here and this is the hardest part of replacing the regular keyboard Sometimes you had to try it more than once. You get there, just don't get frustrated. It happens to all of us. Just be careful to don't break the ribbon. Then I'm gonna have to try it one more time. cooperating with me today. If you're having a hard time like I am today for some reason, you can also remove the Bluetooth cable out of the way. Gives you a little more room to work. Not much room, but 
it just makes it easier sometimes. I think we got it. It happens to all of us, so don't go throw your laptop in the garbage yet. Uh, just put your Bluetooth cable back. And I think it's in there. Mm, no, it's not. We got that one. Put this back. The keyboard bezel cover. And your four screws back. And that's how you replace a keyboard on a Panasonic Toughbook CF30. Okay. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer.